Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create vector data interactively in a Jupyter environment uh, using the leaf map uh, Python package. So first, let's go to the, uh, the website. Uh, so go to leafmap.org and then on the left side here, click notebooks, navigate to number 45, create vector. So from here, you can either click uh, open in Google Collab or launch uh, in Binder or you can also download this one to your computer and so I'm going to click here and then you can download this one to your computer so in order to um, follow this tutorial you will need to install the leaf map uh, package so if you have not installed it um, before you can follow my uh, first tutorial how to install GeoPandas and uh, the leaf map and after that uh, you should have a Jupyter Notebook set up on your computer then we can follow this uh, tutorial but you are also welcome to uh, click binder but and also uh, google collab uh, either one is fine so here you just need to uncomma this one to install the leaf map uh, python package so i highly recommend that you uh, install the package on your computer all right so once we have the uh, the notebook on our computer then we can uh, open the um, downloads directory so from here um if you're using windows you can uh, use uh, uh the anaconda prompt uh, but i'm on linux so i'm just going to simply conda uh activate oh. geo so my uh, conda environment is called geo and then you can just type jupyter you can either type jupyter lab or jupyter notebook so in this case i'm just going to type jupyter lab and it's going to launch uh, Jupyter Lab on my computer. So from here, I'm going to open the um, the Jupyter Lab. So once it is open, you can on the left side here click uh, the notebook that we just downloaded. So number forty five. And so you can see from here, we um, it's a very simple example, uh, only a couple lines of code. And here also to give you a short animation here. Uh, since we don't need this one, I can just simply delete. And I will show you step by step how to create the vector data interactively. Uh, so first, let's import the library, and then uh, all we need to do is just to create the interactive map. So uh, and then display the map. So this is what we are I will be working on here. And as I said uh, earlier, that uh, I'm going to show you how to create the vector data without coding, so we can do everything interactively within the map interface uh, without having to write any line about code. So first. Let's head over the toolbar and so from here you want to click this button create vector data so once you click uh, it's going to show up uh, this dialog box here and so if we are trying to create vector data um, you can you need the vector data has two components you have the shape basically the geometry you also have the vector uh, the attribute so uh, this geometry we're going to use the toolbar to create and for the attribute, we are going to use the, this uh, dialog box here to uh, assign the attribute to the shape. So once this one is open, first you need to decide uh, how many attributes uh, you want to assign to the uh, vector data. So you can just use the slider here, depends on how many attribute table uh, attributes uh, you need. So for example, you can all the way to uh, 10. So usually uh, you may be just one or two. So in this case, I'm just going to use maybe two uh, attributes and then what you need to do is just simply uh, click any drawing tools here so you can either use rectangle polygon or you can use polyline so uh, in general if you're trying to create polygon you might want to use maybe one or two although you can mix different geometry type but uh, it's not recommended so you want to be consistent so in this case I'm just going to create rectangle so for example i can just simply draw a rectangle anywhere right and then just release your mouse once it's released then this dialog box here uh, you can enter the key and the value basically uh, you have the attribute table so you can the column name so this will be the name of the column going to show up on your attribute table so from this one here i can just type for example uh, whatever you want for example type right so and this is the name of the, the column and then so for this polygon i'm going to assign the value so in this case i maybe just type len so and then i can you can have as many attributes as you want so for example area area and then i mean maybe 1000 kilometer whatever and then just hit enter 
after you enter all these values uh, make sure that you click the apply once you click apply it's going to automatically assign to the last draw polygon that you draw on the map right so if you you can uh, click as many times as you want but it only applies to uh, the one that you just draw here and so the after that, uh, you can continue to create polygon, for example, rectangle. The next one here, I can simply maybe just something like this, right? Uh, and as you can see, once they finish drawing the polygon, the dialog box here automatically being refreshed. So you keep the key, but the value is certainly is going to be different. And in this case, I can maybe say uh, this one is ocean, right? And the area maybe 2000, whatever value you want to use. So this would be very useful if you need to do some uh, image clarification, for example, uh, supervised clarification uh, using remote sensing imagery. You might need to create some training samples manually, and this is the easiest way that you can do without having to write any line of code. And so once you assign the value, again, you need to hit apply. Uh, once you hit apply, then these two polygons um, already have the attribute. So basically you have the geometry, you also have the shape, and Next, uh, what you can do is to actually to save the value, uh, the, save um, the vector data as a file on your computer. But if you want to retrieve the value uh, uh, using a function, you can do it as well. So I can just create a new line and I can type m dot. So anything that you draw on the map uh, is going to be uh, accessible through the draw uh, features. So just type draw and then underscore draw features and then alt enter so as you can see here uh, this attribute of the map is actually a list of dictionary so earlier we draw two polygons right and now you can see the first one that we draw right you have the this is a feature uh, it has the properties type and also area so basically these are the two columns uh, the two columns that we assign and then it also has the geometry and similarly this is the second one right so everything that we created uh, you will be assigned uh, specifically to that one so if I create another one for example I can create this uh, let me see here um, and then again the type you can do anything so uh, for example this is again land and the area I can maybe assign 1500 hit enter apply and then once you add that one you can redo this one so and you will see this one is automatically added so basically everything that you created on the map is being stored in this uh, attribute so what we need to do uh, if you you can certainly uh, use this one for computation but if you just simply want to save the vector data to a computer you just click this button save to file and then you can select location so by default, it's going to be limited to just your current um, where your notebook is located. So I'm just going to save this one as um, data uh, geojson. So you can either save as uh, geojson uh, shape file or geo package. So uh, I'm just going to try geojson first, and then just hit select. Uh, it's going to show you okay, it's being saved to this specific directory. And on the left side here is going to pop up so because it's under the same directory so if you want you can double click uh, you'll be able to see this one here uh, of course you can go to your computer uh, and then you'll be able to do, also be able to see this one directly in here and so next i can show you for example how do we know that whether the files are being created correctly or not uh, you can certainly let me just uh, close this one and since we already saved the file to our computer we don't need this anymore so you, what you can do you can simply just clear um oh by the way so before we do that i'm going to show you uh in case that if you need to for example need to edit uh, the polygon you can do that easily so you just need to click this one button click and then you will see that uh, you will see all the points here and this basically all the anchor points you can drag the points to edit the polygon if needed so i can drag something in here right and then just click save that's it um, but of course you need to reassign the value uh, if you want to uh, save the edited polygons all right so since i don't no longer need this anymore i can just clear all of them and then i'm going to show you 
I'm going to load the data that we saved earlier, right? So again, I can click this one and then um oh it's geojson so i need to select the geojson okay so this is the one that we created earlier and then just click select and then just hit apply right so you can see we these are the three polygons that we created earlier at the lower right corner here shows you the attribute value right so if i hover my mouse over this polygon you see that okay this one is ocean area 2000 and this is uh lane right so it's being updated automatically when you have your mouse over uh the polygon so this is showing that exactly the same that i showed you earlier and this is the way that how you can create the polygon uh very very easily so it's uh, uh very convenient if you need to create some training samples and then you simply want to draw the polygon on the map and then you just want to save the results uh, again you can save it as a GeoJSON or Safi or a Geo package. So let me quickly show you here if you want to create another one, for example, select this one and then from here, select this, right? Again, you can assign attribute, for example, um, uh, name and then they say uh, US, whatever, Hit apply. And then select this one here again. So this time I can save as, for example, uh, Safi and or I can say US.SSP. Right. Once you type the name, if the name is invalid, uh, the select button here will be grayed out. So that means the file extension, uh, file extension is invalid. So you need to XHP and then hit select. Right. It's going to show you here. Okay. This file has been saved to here. And then on the left side, you, you should be able to see this one here. US.SSP, right? So again, uh, we can certainly load this one back to the map. So I can just open. All right, set file and then select this one hit ok apply All right so you should be able to see this one here again the attribute table that we assign to this polygon is automatically attached uh to the set file so you can certainly if you want to see the attribute table you can open using uh RDS or, or others you can also i think you can use this one i'm not quite sure yet so let me see uh let me click this one here open attribute table and then select the layer right uh the sweat file hit apply okay so you will see here it actually works right the feature uh, this is a feature a type and the name is us so this is exactly uh what we did earlier um that we can the value that we assign to the attribute uh, to the polygon is being saved to the file so this shows you that you can if you want to uh, create create vector data and then uh, also assign the attribute uh, to the back uh, to the polygon and lastly i can show you another one so again this is just uh, the draw features uh, is a list of all the features um, earlier i showed you how to save the polygon using click this button but uh, if you don't want to do that you can also use this function uh, mdoc save uh, underscore draw underscore features and then so from here uh, you just need to enter the file name okay so uh, this one here is using the geo station right so we we uh we save the result as a geo station right and then so you can also pass in the parameters whether you want to indent or not if you're not so if you earlier like we don't use indentation uh, by default if you use the interface if you click the button uh, it doesn't use the indentations but if you want to have more control you can do it in here and then this is the name and then I can say indentation uh, by default equal to four, for example. So here, uh, let me see. I change the value to maybe data two geojson, and then shift enter. Now, on the left side here, you should be able to see data two dot geojson, right? If I open, and this one is um, more readable. Uh, so you can have the indentation uh, four spaces. So this give you uh, more control if you want to. Um, save the file using a function uh, similarly uh, you can save as geojson for example a uh, 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 save file so as a state to ssp right shift enter on the left side here uh you refresh right then you should be able to see the uh, the save file you can also save as um geo package so gpkg right? and then shift enter and then refresh right you see the file so and then you can just simply maybe uh you can in, for example open uh this file in uh arcgs or qgs so let me show you quickly 
uh, that uh, I can open this one uh, using QGS. So once I open QGS, I can go to maybe uh, let me add a base map like Google Map, right? So in here, then I can go back to the file that I created earlier, right? So I show you how to create a geotation uh, GP uh, geo package, also the sweat file. So what I need to do, simply drag the file, and as you can see, this is the file that we created earlier. So let me show you here, right? Exactly the same. And let me go back to this one. Uh, you can also open the attribute table, right? FID uh, name uh, US, right? So this is the one that we created earlier. Uh, similarly, I can add the sweat file. Uh, it's pretty much it's exactly the same. Open the attribute table, right? And similarly, uh, you can do it in the GeoJSON, right? All the files, uh, you can do it easily. All right, so this is uh, uh, all for the tutorial, and so basically give you an easy way, an easy way to create vector data interactively. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to edit the vector data, so you can uh, open the vector data from a local computer. And then you can edit the shape or you can also edit the attribute table uh, if needed. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next uh, video. Take care. Bye-bye.